James, you were the main man in the dugout today. How was it? Uh, stressful, I think. Uh, it was good to be in there. Obviously, just kind of helping obviously with the situation with, with the gaffer sus uh, suspended today. Uh, but I'm just glad that we got the win. Uh, I, I don't think I could have uh, slept tonight if, if we hadn't done the job. Obviously, these games are always quite tricky. Banana skins in terms of whether you get a big result or whether you just scrape through. You don't really get much credit, so just happy to be through to the next round. Yeah, I think the pressure was always on us. Uh, it was a, a young team we were expected to win the game. Uh, and I think it's obviously how you how you win the game is, is probably what more important to us today. And we probably didn't reach the standards that we have maybe in, in recent weeks. Uh, but the main thing obviously going into the game was to, to progress through. And, and some players benefited from, from game time that, that haven't played much up until now. And a nice one for Gavin Riley to score two goals today as well, take his tally up to eight since he's joined. Yeah, well, I think the manager spoke to a lot of the boys during the week as well and, and just getting their thoughts uh, on, on today's game. And I think with it being a Saturday game as well, players always want to keep ticking over and playing. And Gav showed that today, another couple of goals, keeps his confidence high and many sharpness up for, for the league next week. You had the chance to speak to the gaffer yet since the game? No, not yet. So uh, I'll probably catch him just in five minutes and, and see. I know he's got really high standards as well and, and where he wants to take this club. And it was one of the kind of frustrating days today. We, we played in patches, uh, but as I say, probably didn't reach the, the heights that we have recently. Good credit though to the Hearts team because I think I feel like they did well today. Yeah, they've got some young players as well and obviously they're a, a big club. So in terms of the competition, it's good for their, their young players. But I think in terms of the developing of, of young players, we've showed that over the, the number of recent years that we'll play them in the first team as well. We don't need a, another competition to develop our own and uh, I think that's the best way for players to get uh, experiences is for managers to trust them like their manager here has. Obviously only three changes today, Morgan away in international duty, Craig Sampson put on at the bench, Liam Smith with a knock probably wouldn't have played anyway. Was it important to try and keep that sort of balance of first team players and maybe give the likes of Jordan Kirkpatrick, Ross Stewart the chance to come in? Yeah, well it was, as I say, we spoke uh, about the team uh, and if players were, how were they feeling as well, if there was anybody with knocks we would have probably missed out today, but uh, players like playing and that's the thing, they want to play, they want to keep momentum as well, which we've built up in recent weeks uh, and it was important that we're in the competition we want to progress through, uh, so we tried to, to find a wee bit of a balance uh, as I say with uh, Conor and Keith coming in today, Dale Housing getting his first start as well of the season, so they'll benefit from, from the game time today and then obviously John Sutton coming off the bench as well which was which is good because John's not played maybe as much as he would like recently, but it's good that it gives a manager uh, food for thought as well moving forward that he's still scoring goals. Only the main stand open today, how much an effect does that actually have on the game? Because obviously a lot of the noise is generated from the other side of the stadium, not so much in play today. Yeah, I think that's, that's sometimes the, the trouble with this competition and the, and the crowds as well, that it's kind of got a pre-season uh, friendly feel to it as well. Uh, and it's important that we, we, we said that to the players at the start, that we couldn't play it like that. We had to try and dictate the tempo and, and make sure that we gave the crowd something to shout about. But I think it's difficult when you have got that kind of one stand open and uh, as I say it's, it was tough at times but lucky, uh, just happy to get through. And like you say through to the next round any preferences in the draw would you like a wee trip to maybe Ireland or Wales? Yeah we'll obviously need to see who else has progressed through today. Uh, I think the fans would maybe like something different. I know the, the manager experienced that last year with uh, with Halawa as well uh, but obviously our main focus is on, on the league as well so uh, as long as it doesn't kind of interrupt that then uh, I'll be quite happy with Rodrigo. Thanks very much, James. Thank you.